What's going on everybody, it's Corbman, and I'm back with another Halo Reach modding video. So, I meant to upload this yesterday along the reshade tutorial, and that allows you to have better lighting and uh, coloring for Halo Reach, since it is a 10 year old game still, and uh, that it's still all the vanilla assets and everything, so you're going to want to upgrade that if you have a mid or higher range computer if you want to make it look a little better. It definitely clears everything up. Um, so I suggest watching that video if you have not already, but this video is how you enable Forge in Halo Reach since it is not yet enabled uh, by default. So you're also going to be able to expand your Forge capabilities. First thing you're going to want to do is download the zip file with the same exact name and then unzip it. And then once you open it, you're going to see all this in the contents. So you're going to see the Windows batch file Halo Reach. Now you're going to right click this and run as an administrator just to be safe. Now once this window opens up, you're going to have three options. The first one is Unlock Forge, the second one is Expand Forge Capability. And like I was saying, this will allow you to have unlimited budget, it will allow you to have uh, invisible walls gone and stuff because it also adds pretty much every vehicle uh, from like the campaign and other parts of the game into Forge World to play with, including the Saber and the Seraph, and that is why you want those gone because you can fly around freely as you want. So. First, you're going to want to unlock Forge. Now, this is really easy. You're going to click 1 and then enter, then yes to back up uh, the file that it's going to edit to unlock Forge. Since this may take a couple minutes, uh, I don't believe it will. It should take like 5 seconds. Now, that's how much it took for me, so press any key to continue. All done, have fun. Bah. Now, next, you're going to see this. Remember to launch your game in anti-cheat disable mode so the what that means is you're gonna wanna you know turn anti-cheat mode off and the thing is you don't need to do that if you're just enabling forge because forge is not technically a mod it's just you're just enabling it so you can use it but it's still in the game so you can actually play with your full you know with you know matchmaking and do all that and still have forge on there um, but what you cannot do is run as administrator like I was saying and then expand your forge capabilities so the reason why is because you are downloading a modded map in which they injected a whole bunch of tags and those tags are what represents the vehicles that and items you see in the map that were not originally there so you actually have to download this file to do that now this file might take a while so if you want to have the full forge capability unlocked then you're gonna want to click 2 and enter it's gonna say do you want to back up your forge uh, world map and you're just gonna say yes now after that you're gonna click enter it's gonna download the modified forge halo map now this might take a minute as it's downloading like what is it like five million bytes or something <laughs> kinda got lost in the numbers <laughs> maybe more like five, maybe I think it's like 500 million or something like that but anyways I'm gonna pause it and continue it once I get closer to that point Alright, so now we are getting close to the end of the download, um, and just in case you guys want it, I have a separate link in the description where you can download the Forge World, or the modded Forge World map separately, uh, that, it's like the Mega Host or whatever, it's, it's a lot faster basically, um, than what this does, but this is way safer, and it does it all for you, so it depends if you want it to be faster or, you know, safer, you know, if you're a noob, then this is all for you <laughs> but anyways uh, no no hate just saying <laughs> anyways you can do that like I was saying um, or here here's the dot maps you can actually just download this modded uh, map separately and just throw it in the folder and uh, rename it exactly as forge halo dot map is named um, and then that'll work as well if you do not want to use this program it's up to you um, but anyways it only takes like a couple minutes after that downloads and it'll self-install and you should be ready to go so press any key Oops, any key it's set now this is what this is the first one that is true you do want to disable anti-cheat mode um once you have the modded forge world that is the first thing that actually you do actually need it you know disable for so anyways okay we're gonna minimize this bad boy and go into the master chief collection so, all you're going to do is click play, and like it said, disable those as it 
pops up. You're going to want to have an Xbox 360 controller if you want to actually use Forge though. That's a reason why it's not out yet, is they're modding it, or <laughs> sorry, they're, they're developing it <laughs> to actually work for PC and be more functional. I'm sure they're adding more features like we are. Um, so what, after that you're going to go create, and as you see it says create, not, you know, Forge. That leads me to believe they're going to install uh, tools for us for map editing, like uh, the Gearbox for Halo 1, stuff like that. Because why would there be options? You know, I would just say Forge if not. I don't know. Who knows? But anyways, Halo Reach. And then you're going to go all the way... I don't know why Forge... Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, I was using one hand. You're going to go all the way... Okay, don't use LB and RB. That does not work. <laughs> Um, you're gonna go all the way to the end and click Forge World, and then just you know click the basic one. Just click Forge Editing, Basic Editing, blah blah blah, and then start it. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I was using my uh, keyboard for last time I did this. Anyways, it's gonna load up, and you're gonna start off just at the you know default spawn. All right, now. Nothing's here, but let's see what we got. You're gonna go down, and you're gonna instantly know if it works if you're gonna see these MCC items. These were not here before, as you see, there's already a vehicles section. So all the MCC areas are added modded um, items. So you got gadgets, scenery, structures, but the coolest ones that everyone really wants to see are the vehicles. So you got the Seraph. Oh god, I don't know where. I think the Seraph is outside the map right now. It's a uh... Let's go, let's go spawn this outside here. So here we go. Bam, 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 bam. All right. Sorry about that, guys. It was a, it's a little too big, but that's okay. So you got that bad boy. Forgot how ticky Ford is. I'm just gonna place that right here, and let's go through a couple other things before we have some fun. <laughs> Uh, before, besides that, you got Falcons, Nose Gun, Grenadier, uh, Transport version. You got your Warhog Transport. You got the Saber, which is another awesome vehicle. I'm just gonna plop that down right here. So sensitive on that turn. Anyways, um... Then, what else do we got here? Um, I'm just gonna add all this stuff. I'm just gonna drop it down since a lot of these you might not remember or know what it is. So, I'm just gonna. Everyone knows the forklift. That's the most renowned vehicle in Halo Reach. It's actually the only good vehicle. I'm just kidding. There's a, there's a nameplate you can actually get just from uh, using it, I think. I, mean, I think it's in the campaign that you have to use it, though. I'm not really sure. Pick up, or maybe you just have to do it on the retail version truck cab oh god no that's a big truck <laughs> what else we got van bam now you're probably wondering like oh I remember this from a single player so the question is is are they all drivable and the question the answer is yes is they are all actually drivable um, I'm sorry for no sound I'm this software I'm using to record, I have to pay for the sound, isn't that insane? I'm, I'm trying it out though, so, you know, hang in there with me. But they all have functioning sound as well, um, since they're actually in the game. The reason why like the Pelican and stuff isn't in this is because uh, that doesn't have functioning sound, but I'll, 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 I'll create a mod for other vehicles like the Pelican and the Phantom. And, you know, the bigger ones. But yeah, all these work and they're all awesome. Isn't that cool though? The doors open and shit? That's awesome. That's the best part. Bam. Like, I didn't even think that would work like that. I thought they just modded that to work like, you know, or just rigged it, you know, that way. But nope. It all It's all functional. Now here's the Seraph. This thing's crazy. Look how fast I'm already going. <laughs> and this is what's so great about this mod is you can just fly this thing anywhere. Pyaw! You ain't hitting nobody. Gotta be careful though, because he can easily slam into the ground. If 
But anyways, I'll show you the saber as well. I wonder if the saber sounds like the seraph on purpose. <laughs> so yeah, everything works great. And like I was saying, you can hear it, uh, but you just can't in this video because I'm not, not, not rich enough to have the top quality screen capturing software. I'm just kidding. I will stand. I just gotta figure out what's worth having because they all have their problems. All right. <laughs> okay. I don't know what the hell the physics were doing there. But yeah, guys, I mean, this is pretty nice. And if you could tell, I have my reshade enabled. Um, that's why this lighting looks kind of different. Um, what else have we got? Before I end the video, I'm just going to go through some of the stuff. You got different ammo boxes, shield doors, you know, stuff you might not realize you need. Uh, but they added for you because you can't be too picky in Forge. It's, people want map editors anyways. Like, they want the full damn thing. <laughs> At least, especially on PC. All right, what is what else we got? It's Covenant antenna. You know, there's there's endless amounts of possibilities. I don't want to go through everything. It's gonna take forever. Um, but yeah, I don't even know what some of this stuff is. It's interesting. Definitely awesome scenery, gadgets, structures. What do we got? Buildings. Let's see how big we get. Bunker overlook. Ah, uh, that's nice. Like, they didn't even have this in the engine, like, why not? <laughs> I guess they had very limited capabilities on the 360. The, uh, I think it's an old piece of junk. <laughs> it's insane um, what they can do now. But yeah, guys, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to revert your changes, I will show you how to do that as well. Now I'm going to exit out of here. And going back... If you want to do that, all you gotta do is open this thing up, and like I, you saw on earlier, the third option, click three, and click enter. It's gonna say press any key to continue, and then that's all, folks. Um, then you can go back on, you know, your normal game without having the anti-cheat mode, you know, or anti-cheat enabled. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but yeah. That is the tutorial for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed. I might have another video tonight, if depending on everything, but we'll see. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I need the support. I just lost 300 subscribers because uh, YouTube deleted unused accounts or something recently, and I was like, no! I just started gaining them back. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so that would be awesome. And please like if you enjoyed and learned anything at all, or if this helped you. So, that's it. You guys have a great day. Peace out.